a Design With Me session, we're going to use the recent release uh, for the Dwarven release here. And we're I've just got a, a blank scene up, and I'm picking up some of the large Dwarven runes. Um, we're going to just lay these out here. These are going to be the colorable versions. Play around with like different coloration here. I think we'll go with like a kind of purple, deep purple look. And do the same thing on the other side. These are very large rooms. If you can see the, the scale here of the grid, these um, just kind of automatically give you some navigatable areas and some rooms to start with. What we're going to do here is we're going to link these rooms up using the new staircase system. And we're going to have something like a chasm in the middle of this. And we're going to use some of the, the new AI generated tiles to make all that work. So I'm just laying these out in a way that I think would make for just good map navigation. I want to kind of start in one area and be able to have players sort of move and, and pick some of their directions. This is feeling pretty good. So now we're going to pick up some of these stair pieces and there's a straight stair piece. Remember, these are just like, these are actually interchangeable with the hallways, but these are open. The walls are not opaque and those pillars just um, can, can really serve as pillars that are supporting the stair um, or catwalk as it's, as it's going across to space. And you can see, you just drop these things in and they just sit flush with these rooms and they create egress points where they didn't exist before. So it's pretty easy to, to kind of make that all happen. And I've decided I want to have here another room coming out of this sort of southern entrance. You might have to hold down shift if you want to get things in a very precise location. This piece is meant to be a... Um, you know, be able to let you make right turns and, you know, uh, three and four sided intersections. This is just a room that we are basically going to change into a balcony. As it comes with the door. And just to make them all flush, I'm just going to put this small uh, staircase piece in here. This is actually a hallway piece. You can see they just, they, they match up in a way that it looks flush. Another staircase, staircase piece just to get this catwalk to marry up with the other room. And I'm just using multi-phase tiles to select the flat version of these tiles here to make it look more like, um, you know, it's just flat. And then I'm just spinning the staircase around. So it looks like you rise a little bit, you walk across the straight catwalk, and then you go back down again. And again, we're going to have this traversing a large chasm in the middle. Now what I need to do is just go and fix all my walls, um, get everything so that I don't have any walls blocking movement. Uh, make sure that all of my wall nodes are connected to each other. That way you don't have light or vision that's kind of um, poking through like slivers of these. So I want all of my walls 
for these areas to be transparent, I want, um, you know, you, whether you want light or sound going through. So you notice I'm just changing the walls of this room to transparent, and it functions then just like a balcony. Your players will walk off or walk onto that space, and they'll be able to see all around them as far as their vision allows. And there we just made uh, these two spaces join up and with relatively little effort. Now I'm going to drag out the tile set for the, uh, the AI-generated uh, terrain tiles. Turn on quick edit mode so they can get to these. Each one of these, you can right-click and it's got other versions in it. In this case, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to... You notice if I right click, I can see like other kinds of versions. There's versions that have chasms and things like that. Make this nice and large. I'm using quick scale and the bracket key just to, to scale those up. And I duplicated it. And now I've selected the one that's just the, the, um, the overlay tile. And because it's white, I can apply a token magic effects filter to it. And it gives me this nice fiery effect. And you can adjust these, the speed of these effects and other things. Uh, mass Edit has a great tool um, and macro actually that comes with the Mass Edit uh, module that lets you um, edit existing token magic effects filters really easily. And you just kind of size this the way that you want. And stick it where you want to. I wanted this to look like, you know, deep in the mountain underneath this catwalk is this, um, you know, kind of the heart of the mountain. Maybe it, it uh, powers the forge, that kind of thing. And we'll put some lights in here. We'll apply the, the ghostly light effect. Play with its speed and intensity, things like that. I just want this to feel like that, that heat down below and that light is, is lighting up the surrounding rock. Area. And I have these catwalks. I want these catwalks to block that light. I want it to almost be like their shadow above them, right? And they're blocking the light from down below. So I, I want the walls to, to effectively block the light. And then I'm just going to create a beacon here for sound. And I've got in my towns module, I've got this lava loop. And we'll have that lava loop um, give just a little bit more um, sense of, of sort of a large space where, you know, there's this, uh, this spire down below. Now I'm going to grab another one of those assets. Make it nice and big, scale it up. This isn't going to matter too much. It's only going to be visible just in the distance. But I just want to create more of this look of, of this sort of stone um, chasm. And so that'll just help serve as a bit of a backdrop within the, the field of view for players. I could imagine doing a skirmish, skirmish or a boss fight in here. And, you know, when you see the final map, I'll be doing some more things to it um, just to kind of add various things to the elevation and whatnot. But you can see you change the background to black and you instantly have a great map, right? Everything comes, all these prefabs come with lights and walls already in them. So we're essentially done with the base of the map. At this point, we just, you see the, the experience of the player walking into this inferno um, it's pretty exciting 
and at this point, really, it's just, you know, how do we decorate the rooms? How do we tell the story, put in our NPCs, that kind of thing. But that's why these AI generated backgrounds, you can see the level of detail you get for almost zero effort at all. Um, you combine it with some of these prefab buildings and, you know, we've got a fairly compelling and interesting map uh, pretty quickly. So we're going to search through plot hooks. You guys have seen me use these before. I just love having the ability to add secrets within a map. This one is, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and make it a, well, you can make it anything you want. You can see you can right click it and make it treasure chest and other things. Um, but we can also color these, right? So that little moving tile is now colored the same purple as the rest of the, the prefab. And your players can click on it, interact with it, or you can manage that as the GM, um, but you should be able to show them that. Now we're just looking at some of the other Dwarven pieces. Here's that smelter. Um, you can right click it and uh, change it to empty. I've decided I'm gonna use this other type of smelter. This one comes with chains. We're gonna scale this up by uh, 50%, and that's gonna let it span this room really easily. It's already got its chains and its mountings, and so we can just literally just slap it in the middle of the room and we've got this cool um, you know, smelter that your players can discover and maybe you've got something in it or it's something important to the story. Decided to put that other smelter over here. And let's just drop in an anvil. That's from a uh, past release. It's in the towns module. Again, you could come in here and change these decoration items to anything. You put beds. In these, you could put a throne room. Uh, you could put sarcophagi. And now I'm going to release all of my prefabs and essentially delete all of the um, all of the control tokens. And I'm just going to navigate my map, make sure that it works the way that I want. It's nice. I can walk under these chains. It feels interactive, like there's some depth to it. And that's as easy as it, as it is to get things rolling here. I do feel like I need a uh, an egress point to this map. So I'm going to use a dig down in um, from Ripper in this uh, tile, uh, tile picker plus, and I'm going to look for stairs. And I'm going to grab this really nice one. You guys have seen me use this a ton of times because it goes really anywhere. It's a transparent stair. So it serves as a nice area to teleport players to. Sort of an active tile. Um, but that would be like the egress. Like how do they get into these dwarven halls? That would be the way in. Maybe it's linking from another map I've, I've got elsewhere in the release. And that's it. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration from this. Check out my other scenes with the release and let me know what else you'd like to know about. In the meantime, have fun making your maps.